Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall victory number 1080, but I am still in the Dublin, Ireland area. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Yeah. I've been wanting to do a challenge right around this area, and I haven't yet, I don't think, other than when I did that totally fried challenge a couple years ago, but I am here at Pit Bros Barbecue, which is on Georgia Street, which is just outside of the Temple Bar area. I am here with John. He is the pit master here. Katina and I, we are the very first two people to attempt and help kick off their brand new Irish Meat Feast Challenge. Now, they actually do have a meat feast as part of their menu, but we of course have a lot more than what you get as just part of that platter. But all of this is Irish meat, but it's all based on American barbecue. I've got one hour to finish everything here. You got your baby back ribs. Of course, you got a beautiful barbecue sauce that we make in house. So they've been slow cooked for three hours, so they'll fall off the bone. Pulled pork right here, so we use some really amazing butchers in Dublin with a nice barbecue sauce. It takes about eight to ten hours. We're using really nice apple and oak wood inside the smoker. You got your Irish brisket right here, which is a little bit different, of course, to the USDA brisket. It's Irish grass fed beef, really beautiful, nice fatty in there as well, nice good marbling. That is slow smoked for about six to eight hours as well. We've That's got pickles over. Over here Some beautiful and then pickles. I love Irish coleslaw yeah. so we've got a whole bunch of that this is what I really need his help yeah. with it's like a mama's mashed potato with a bone marrow gravy on yeah the bone it's marrow really gravy nice. I've never had that that's mac and cheese mac Katina yeah. wanted to add this to the challenge because it looks so good and then we've got their piggy fries those look amazing then what's yeah. on there pulled pork on top and then you got a chipotle mayonnaise on top as well with a little bit of barbecue sauce okay and then these we've got a these big old fried chicken sandwich here what's that this is a beautiful fried local chicken of course nice brioche bun, a little bit of slaw inside, a little bit of our own hot sauce with a little bit of pickle inside. This is the bacon seduction burger then next to it. The beef that we use in it is chalk, it's brisket, it is a little bit of shop ribbon flap, and it has a bacon jam, which we slow cook the bacon. This is just optional, but I'm gonna try to finish two beers along the way, because I definitely need two more beers while I'm in Ireland. We've got their Liberator Irish Lager by Dublin City Brewing Company, yeah. obviously here in Dublin. And then we've got a Graciosa, by Hopfully, and that's a tropical IPA. But I've got one hour. If I fail this thing, it's gonna be around 75 euros. But if I do win, I will get the meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt, and then I'll be the first person with the name and photo up on the Wall of Fame. What do you think's gonna happen? You're gonna pass You betting it. on the food or me? Right, you, straight up. Hey, I appreciate it's that. But yeah, hot big hot. thank you to John the Pitmaster for having Katina and I in. Let's get this challenge started. All right, great to get here on George Street. All of this barbecue looks amazing. Tomorrow we head to Athlone just for sightseeing, and then my birthday weekend's coming up in Galway. Let's just do it. One, two, three. Boom. 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 All right, let's dig into these ribs first. These ribs are meaty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's do another. I'm gonna dig in and kill some of these sides. Eat some carbs first. This is their bone marrow mash hand cut potatoes. That is creamy. Bone broth is a new health thing these days, so yeah, healthy maybe, I don't know. Probably not, but extra delicious. We're actually done with something already, done with the mashed potatoes. Before these uh, harden up, let's eat this macaroni and cheese. Katina wanted these as part of the challenge and I'm glad she did. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a taste that I haven't had before as far as with macaroni and cheese. Very good. Ireland dairy is all amazing, so I'm sure that contributes as well. All right, done with that. Let's get back to some ribs, and then we'll do the uh, cream spinach in a bit.
It's summertime here in Ireland and it is hot, so I am sweaty, but let's do the last one of this little half a rack. The barbecue sauce on this thing's amazing. Let's get some uh, Irish sausage in me. I'm trying to decide whether I like this more or the breakfast sausages, and both are amazing. Are these bread and butter pickles? Very good. All right, let's dig into this half a pound of brisket. A couple of the staff here said this is their favorite thing. <laughs> that is good, baby. Finish off more brisket. Apparently it's leaner than American brisket, since it's Irish beef. Last piece of brisket. I'm gonna do the ribs next, and then probably this buttermilk chicken sandwich. It has a massive uh, fried chicken patty on it. Three ribs to go. Last bit of a rib, and then we're gonna break into some of this Liberator Irish lager. I've heard it's yummy. All done. Pinky's up for this. Can't split the G tonight, but I didn't want to. There's way too much food to try to finish the stout as well, but that is delish. I think we gotta go chicken sandwich next. That thing is freaking huge. This could be a challenge on its own. We do have Irish coleslaw in here too, just like that. That is as good as I thought it was gonna be. Just like the last two days, I'm not leaving here hungry. They do give out ice cream though after meals, so I might try some of that if I still have room. This is some of the most tender fried chicken I've ever had. One of the most delicious fried chicken sandwiches I've ever had. This is the bacon seduction burger with a beef burger patty. There are onions on the bottom and then a whole bunch of bacon jam on top along with cheddar cheese. All right, I got a little bit of Diet Coke to help get this burger down, which is very cold, a little dented on the bottom. Katina and I are really having a lot of fun in Ireland. Oh, and I'm enjoying my last few days of being only 35. It's probably a dumb idea, but I think I'm gonna save that and eat it last. Let's do this cream spinach. Popeye would be proud of me. This is one of the few times I didn't call it healthy spinach because it's cream spinach. And let me tell you what, this is not fat free, but it is delish. As John said, it makes the soul happy. I'm gonna take just a quick break, let some of that digest. We're 25, 45 in, sip some of this lager. They're getting me some of their homemade original sauce to help get this pulled pork down. But while we are waiting, I love uh, Irish coleslaw, and this is chipotle coleslaw with more of that chipotle mayo sauce. Let's get this down. We still 
still have over 31 minutes left. This is a lot of pulled pork, and then we got more pulled pork on the piggy fries, but good thing I hear it's delicious. The uh, service is amazing here at Pit Rose Barbecue. Get here not just for the food, but for the awesome experience. Luxury at affordable price. And it is, because this whole meal for just 75 euros right around there is pretty darn good, considering where we're at. This cold water is helping a lot. Just a quick minute. We're 35 minutes in, so we have plenty of time. I'm pretty full, this is a lot of meat. I knew these fries were gonna be a problem. I probably should have eaten them earlier on. Ooh, I think the chef was heavy handed when he put all these full pork on. I'm just kidding, it's their standard amount. One thing I do know is I think I'm gonna have to finish that while I'm watching Katina. Well, I don't have to finish that, but I'm still gonna try. Oh, thankfully we've got some time. We still have 12 minutes to go. Ah, I forgot that. Yeah, that was my last bite of food challenges. 35 year old. I'll be 36 on Sunday when we do our next challenge in Galway, but we're here in Dublin. Let's have this beer. We'll have a dominant victory, but Slancha, thank you guys all for coming. <laughs>
on the front, and then on the back, we've got three of my favorite things, smoke, meat, and beer. So yes, they do give out ice cream to everybody that finishes their normal meal, so I might have just a bit of that to calm my stomach, but yeah, everything was amazing. If you don't want to try the challenge, get here anyway and try some of their amazing menu. They've got so much to offer, but for me, it was overall victory number 1,080. It was my final victory as a 35-year-old since my birthday is coming up in a few days, and then the next one you'll watch will be in Galway, Ireland. I'll be 36, but thank you guys for watching.